Hey guys, this is like our 88 or guys HB88. I am actually now off my official vacation from California. I actually have two more weeks before I go to my university and really begin my actual major, which I'm actually happy about. And if you guys want to quickly just know, I'm actually getting into the graphic design field. Uh, that is something that I've always wanted to do. I love working with Photoshop and things like that. I just feel like I can spend all my time and creativity and you know I also understand um, different things about advertisements and marketing since I took a, mar a marketing class in high school so I've always felt like the degree was sort of more for me but we'll see as I continue onward. But that's not what I'm actually going to talk about. I'm actually going to do a uh, PMD tutorial. Um, I haven't done one of those in a while and I promised you know you guys that I would do more. I try to get back into MD stuff and things like that. And I actually like doing tutorials. Um, I try to mix it up, etc, etc, etc. I teach the basics and I teach some more advanced things. And sometimes when I just learn something I kind of want to like teach it and it also helps me and helps you guys. So basically one popular thing that PMD people like to do is where we do face merging where basically you'll take a part from say in model A and you'll use eyes from model B. Uh, really popular examples of this tend to be the TADA models or TAD or TDA. I pronounce it TADA. I don't know why. Um, but those are really good examples. Um, a lot of people always use the uh, Hatsune Miku default face, but then they'll combine it, combine it with different eyes or different faces. And so this is kind of sort of the same thing. Um, I actually just got done with this one here, and I used um, YM Kaito and Nanako Nan Nanko. Yes, Nanko um, Haku eyes. And I'm actually doing the same thing here, but I forgot the Toho model name, and I would probably butcher it anyway. But um, basically, I'm doing another Oran set. If you guys have been following me on DA, please do, because you'll know things ahead of time rather than my YouTube. But um, I'm working on another face, and if you want to take a very good guess on which character this is supposed to be, feel free, but um, yeah. So basically, I have a different set of eyes, and this is one that I um, already put on here. But basically, I will just uh, kind of tell you how to sort of go about it. What you want to do is say you want to use a face from um, whatever say you want to use we'll say as an example a lat face lat is a very popular use part um, I have used it in the past yeah so what you'll want to do is everything around the eye area and of course you know clothes and hair that you aren't going to use you want to remove and you just want to keep the face and all that. So basically what you'll have is you'll have a head that's eyeless. And so say you want to use the TADA Miku eyes. So then you go to um, the Miku model and remove everything but the parts needed for the eyes as I'll show you here on this side. And as you can see, this is the eyes stuff only. So then you'll want to try to closely put it on your model. You'll probably have to, oops, you'll probably have to kind of like stretch it out and things like that. But you'll definitely want to try to put it as closely onto your model as possible. You know, you want to make it look nice and you know, you want to try to do this with little to no errors and actually I have to do 
one thing on this model that um, didn't get cleaned off so please excuse me for one minute there we go that looks so much better and I'm going to just quickly save that okay so now that that's out of the way um, you're probably wondering okay so when I go to put my model in um, PM in M MMD there's some problems and I actually haven't done this yet but as you can see here this this does not look right yes I have the eye animation and all that but all the other layers and things like that you know and that's gonna happen but before I you know explain that what you need to actually do is you need to uh, merge your facial layers so you'll go to I have to remember I think it's M and M for the Japanese yeah actually it is undo hold on guys so I believe it's that I could be wrong or if you have the English um, version then it should be facial and then merge facials and now to merge everything um, facial wise so you know say you have certain eye facials or whatever it'll just basically combine it all together but when that happens you're gonna have to edit the facial separately and make sure you get to work and when you do that I can go to my tab. Basically, it's gonna look like a mess, and to show you on the side here, my f there we go. Basically, when you use the slider, it just it doesn't look right. And you don't want that. So just like how you normally edit stuff, you want to go to V and A. There's your sub view. There's your move, stretch, etc. There's your parts individually. I don't even use this box, so I'm not concerned. And then make sure I turn on everything. So what it looks like what we need to do is we need to move this up and I'm gonna go into sub view because it makes it so much easier and we're going to Just that. And we are going to move this back. And then everything else, I'm going to, because if you can't tell on here, there's a little bit of the eyes. 
showing up behind there, so I want to make sure I put that back. And then we go to this tab here, and then we can see what it looks like. And now it actually works. So then you'll want to, I believe, click this box, click yes, and it should be fixed. And just in case, and it is. So I actually hope that this sort of helped you guys out for anyone that wants to do it. I'm sorry I didn't go through the beginning process of it, but this actually does help um, just kind of get the idea of how to do it. Basically, as I said in the beginning, you know, just basically you start off with a pretty much a blank face with no eyes. You take the eye parts that you want and you just try to sort of fit it as close closely as you can and as neatly and you know pretty and all that as you can on your model and then basically because you're probably going to have some um, problems with the facials you'll want to just go and edit those individually and make sure that everything is hunky dory and works so thank you guys for watching I will probably, once I'm done with some of the model creations that I've been done and working on, I'll probably do like a short MMD video um, using some motion data, since I'm really bad with motion data, and um, you know, get you guys up just a short video. I'm not sure if I can do more videos when it comes to my university. Because I'm probably going to be busy, but if I will try to at least get one video in at least during the year, if I can. Uh, definitely on breaks I'll have more, I'll probably be able to do some more, but as of right now, I have like t one to two weeks left, and yeah, so it's, it's going to be stretching it. Anyway, I will see you guys later, and I hope you have a good day.